Oh boy, everybody, Mark Chess here, and today I just had a game here in Arellano Gym, and the court conditions here is very, very nice. So I opted to use my KD12 once again. So I'll be giving you an update regarding this sneaker. So, so far on a very clean court, KD12 is awesome. Traction here on a very clean court, no questions. Sobrang okay siya. My main concern about the KD12, if you're playing on a dusty court, that's, that's when you slip. But in a very clean court like this one, very well maintained, you really grip and stop on a dime. It even squeaks a lot. So KD12's traction on a clean court, A+. And for that, of course, as you know, there's no strobo board on the full length zoom of the KD12. So you really can feel the bounce all throughout the shoe. It's a very comfy shoe, very bouncy shoe. If you like the feeling of full length zoom, this is the way to go. The way you feel in the Kobe 1 Protos, if you have that, or the why not 0.1 full length zoom. This one is times three times four the bounciness. So it's really comfy. And impact protection on the heel is also awesome. You can feel the zoom even in the heel. And the injected fire down carrier really expands when you step and explodes. Nothing bad to say about the cushion, but all praise on the cushion of the KD12. If only the traction is awesome in the Dusty Core 2. This is really a very, very nice performing sneaker. And as for the upper support, just lace it up really tight. And the lockdown in the footbed, lateral support, is very nice. And also the traction on the sides here in the medial part of the sneaker really helps when you're doing first steps. It really gives you a burst on your quick step. So that's a nice detail on the KD12. And of course, the tongue is very comfy. Even if you lace it up really tightly, it won't strangle your foot. There's no skin abrasion. And as for the heel part, ankle part, there's enough ankle protection on the KD12. Just lace it up tightly. That's my only tip if you have the KD12. Para you feel more stable because this is a very slim shoe. This is a very narrow shoe. And as you can see here, narrow and there's no lateral outrigger, so you really need to lock up your laces. That's an SOP on the KD12s. For the heel containment, no heel slippage, you're locked down, and the Achilles pillows on the KD12s is very comfy. So overall, KD12, a very awesome performing sneaker on a very clean court. This is a must-have if you always stay on a very clean court, but that's not reality, like especially here in the Philippines. There's a lot of dust around the air pollution all over the metro so that sucks but I hope they come out with a gum sole I think in the Nike ID there's an option for gum sole for the KD12s I don't know if they use a different rubber compound on that but I hope that works I'm thinking about doing a Nike ID on the KD12 with that I'll update you guys if I push the button on that okay as for sizing narrow so regular footer two to size Wide footer, go half a size up. So that's it on my update on the KD12s. I think uh, the 90s edition and the red is coming out soon. So watch out for that. If you want a very bouncy shoe, but you're not too high off the ground. You're not too low, just enough. KD12 for the win. All right, this is Marches once again. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.